Get ready, America, because you're about to see the best of the Cockleburr Morning Show, Sweet Swine County's number one morning talk show. Our Story Productions presents the Cockleburr Morning Show, where we weed out the big stories from throughout Sweet Swine County with Bobby Ray and Sally Sue. Good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you and welcome to the Cockleburr Morning Show. Sally Sue is on assignment this week, so joining me today from the hit segment, Hidden Away, Not Forgotten, None other than Clarice. Welcome, Clarice. It's well, glad to have you here. Thank you. Glad it's great to, to be here. here, Bobby Ray. Well, I'll tell you, it's good to see you again, Clarice. i got to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, um, as I'm sure you know, Clarice is probably one of the best reporters. that she, she travels throughout the county, and she visits many points of interest outside of Sweet Swine County, and she reports back to us. And I have to tell you, Clarice, you have truly amazed me and, and brought some great interesting stories to the forefront. I'm very impressed. Well, thank you, Bobby Ray. I have to tell you, I have really enjoyed visiting every one of the places that I have been to. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to bring on our next guest. Mm -hmm. And from the county of Lesseur, mm. the town of New Prague, I'd like to welcome Jerry Minner. Oh, welcome, Jerry, welcome. Thanks. It's good to be here. Now tell us a little bit about um, how did you get involved with the concertina? Uh, well, Clarice, uh, I started as a youngster. Mm -hmm. uh, I was a little shaver and uh, I kind of grew up with this, with this music and uh, concertinas and accordions uh, when I was growing up. That's, that's all you heard on the radio. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and so I started playing and then I started teaching. Uh, when I was still in high school, a company in Hutchinson uh, recruited me as a teacher cool. and uh, so I taught the instrument accordion and concertina. Mm -hmm. um, I also play the accordion. I don't know if I mentioned that or not uh, but I play them both and uh, so I was teaching for this company and uh, then at some point in time uh, I got interested in tuning the concertina. In oh. tuning it? Yeah, okay. the, the creating the sound mm -hmm. you know and uh, that led to being a concertina repairman Oh. And uh, then it led to me being a dealer uh, with several different distributors. And then I ended up working with Christy Hingle in 1995. Mm -hmm. And Hingle is the person that took over uh, the Chicago factory. Oh, okay. Um, that uh, went out of business after World War II. So Hengel brings it to New Ulm in 19, uh, actually to Minnesota. First Sleepy Eye, then Waseca, and then New Ulm uh, from 55 uh, up to the day he died in 2007. Okay. Uh, uh, and uh, mm. so we build a Hengel now. Uh, after uh, my preliminary instruction from Hengel, we, uh, we build the instrument in New Prague. Outstanding. Very mm -hmm. cool. How Very does cool. one proceed playing a concertina? Um, well, Bobby Ray, um, the instrument was actually invented as the working man's instrument. Okay. Really? Okay. Yep, that's correct. In 1834, when it was invented in East Germany, um, the situation was that the affluent people had their harpsichords, pianos, violins. Sure. The working class, our ancestors, they came here for a better life, mm -hmm. right? Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. They didn't have anything. No. Uh, there was no radios, no phonographs, no nothing. And so this uh, Karl Uleg is his name. He invents the concertina, the simple little instrument, uh, five buttons per side, but it's music, right? Hmm. And uh, so uh, then it's popular, gains popularity in, in Germany uh, and, of course, into Czechoslovakia, the neighboring country. Um, and in 1893, it's featured at the Chicago World's Fair. Hmm. Hmm. And then it bursts on the scene in Chicago and uh, a lot of um, manufacturing and promotion and uh, that kind of thing takes place sure. in Chicago. And then after World War II, it starts to come to Minnesota. And, uh, and in 1955, the Hengel Constantina was born. And uh, in 1995, we took over production of the Hengel Constantina. So um, as we speak, the Constantina is now being manufactured in New Prague, Minnesota. Right now, I think we're kind of the hot spot of Concertina in Minnesota. We have four clubs. In case you didn't notice, I'm wearing my club I shirt see, here. Okay. The, from the New Prague Concertina Club, which was formed in 1997. Okay. Uh, we have 
280 some members. Oh my. Yep, isn't that something? Being it's a working class invented for the working class, uh -huh. it plays by numbers. Oh, okay. See the numbers? Oh, how yes. interesting. We got numbers on the left side, the bass accompaniment, and the right side has numbers too. So it's like a, it's almost like a musical paint by number. Uh, yeah, exactly. Okay. Exactly, Bobby Ray. Okay. Good analogy, and, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> very good, very good. Uh, and furthermore, um, it stayed the same for over 100 years. Wow. In other words, okay. I've got a sheet of music here that was published, copyrighted in 1910, which is exactly 100 years ago. I can play that on my Constantina that we build today and vice versa. All right, now I'm sure our viewers are going to want to know the clubs and so on and so forth. What costs are involved? What, what, what happens? What? Oh, okay. Um, well, to join a club, uh, it varies from, say, 15 to $20 a year to join the club. You That's get a monthly bad, newsletter right? and a sheet of music. Right. So, uh, you know, I can't go wrong on that. No. Right. The sheet of music is worth that. Sure. You know. And uh, now to get into play in Constantina, uh, one can rent one. Oh. And... Um, through the club, we have a scholarship program too, where young people can get oh, up to two hundred dollars nice. to take lessons mm -hmm. and rent to Constantina. Uh, and now, um, to get into it, uh, the price range of a Constantina would vary uh, quite a bit. Um, the bottom end would be, say, about uh, oh, maybe somewhere around four to five hundred dollars okay. for the bottom. That's very and then reasonable. They, yeah, and then yes, they go is. right up to about. Thirteen, fourteen thousand. You know, well, so. I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, I'm right. sure. Depending yeah. on how For, this is beautiful, how well you want it designed and decorated. Um, and yeah, such. Right, right. There's uh, six hundred some rhinestones flashing on the concertina. Ooh. Wow. And um, prior to this type of decorating, um, we had mother of pearl abalone, which was the case with the little one down in front here. Uh -huh. And there's a, a number of those on display. So we've got three hundred seventy-four reeds in here that are vibrating. The tiny one to produce the high sound is a little reed about the size of my little fingernail. And then the lowest note is a great big reed about A long with a hunk of solder on the tip. The concertina has a different sound when you push and pull and has oh. buttons on both sides, whereas the accordion is has the same, okay. yeah, uh, accordion has a piano keyboard on the right side and then um, the same sound push and pull. Right. And, and actually, Bobby Ray, the um, uh, the higher end ones are not only beautiful, but they perform. Uh, they perform like uh, a Corvette automobile. Pick up one of our Castinas. You can know right away this baby wants to play. Sure. And so a musician can express himself. You know, you can play soft. You can play loud. You know, wow. and it responds. Wow. And, uh, so that's uh, a quality that is uh, highly sought after in today's concino world. Sure. Very, very sure. impressive. So, can we hear you play a little bit? Oh, Please. sure. That'd be great. I'd be delighted. Here's one of my favorite tunes. Um, goes back to the 1950s, I think. Whatever it will be, will be. Okay. could have sang long. I don't think so. <laughs> that, would, that would have ruined the entire performance. Oh, I don't know. Uh, I'm sure it would have. That's okay. My mom used to say I couldn't carry a tune in a handbasket. People ask correct. me, people ask me too, Jerry, don't you sing? I say, I want to sing in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. Good answer. Jerry, we really want to thank you very much for being here today. This Thanks, has been Bob. very, very instructional and Thanks, also entertaining. Thank you. Very Look nice. forward to coming to your restaurant. Uh, that's be great. Love to see you. We'd also like to thank all of you, our viewers, for joining us again. And until the next time, please watch the Cocklebur Morning Show where we weed out the big stories throughout Sweet Swine County. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.